Welcome to the Canton JV, the Canton JV game with Canton and Northeast Bradford. Number eight, serving for Northeast Bradford. Northeast Bradford gets the point. One to zero. Northeast Bradford with the serve again. Canton gets called with an illegal move and Northeast Bradford gets the point. Northeast Bradford serves it out of bounds. Allison Butcher for Canton is serving. And Canton gets the point after the serve. gets the point after the spike and they get the point. Canton's up four to two. Point after the spike by Marissa Ostrander. Allison Butcher for Canton serves out of bounds, and Northeast Bradford gets the point.
Northeast Bradford with a bad set and Canton gets the point. Number 18 for Canton serves it out of bounds. Never mind, that wasn't out of bounds. It was my fault. Now it's out of bounds. That was my bad. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Again. I don't really know what happened, but Ken gets the point. Maddie serves out of bounds and Northeast gets the point. Number 34 from Northeast Bradford serves into the net and Canton gets the point. Marissa Ostrander with the serve. She aces the other team and gets the point back. Violation on Canton, Northeast Bradford gets the point. Number 32 from Northeast Bradford with the serve. Canton hits it into the net and Northeast Bradford gets the serve back. Canton hits it into the net and again and Northeast Bradford gets the serve back. A net violation was called on Northeast Bradford and Canton gets the serve. Laney Gleckner goes back to serve for the Canton Warriors. Four. 
A net violation on the Canton Warriors gives Northeast Bradford the serve back. Number six for the Northeast Bradford is serving. A nice over gets Canton the point. Hannah goes back to serve. A nice serve to the deep corner is an ace, and Hannah gets the serve back. A nice deep corner by the middle of Northeast Bradford, and she goes back to serve, number 13. May Kinner pushes it to the corner. A perfect push gets the point back. May goes back to serve. A nice save by the Northeast Panthers. A short push into the net gives Canton the ball back. May goes back to serve again. The score is 17 to nine, Canton. A swing into the net gives the Panthers the ball back. Number eight goes back to serve. <laughs> A nice save by the middle, Emmy. And they put it in the perfect hole, and they get the ball back. Lacey Nimzik goes in for Laney Gleckner. And 36 for the Panthers goes in for 32. Butcher serves for the Canton Warriors. A shank from the Northeast Bradford Panthers gives Canton the ball back. It's 2010 Warriors. A shank into the bleachers gives the serve back to Butcher, but they will call a timeout.
Kaylin Pidgo goes in for Lacey Nimzik. A hit into the net gives Canton the ball back. A hit into the net gives Northeast Bradford the ball back. 31 goes back to serve for the Northeast Bradford Panthers. 22-11, Canton. A nice push by the Northeast Bradford Panthers gives them the ball back. Mistake by the Warriors gives Northeast Bradford the ball back. It's now 22-13, Canton. <laughs> Northeast Bradford hits the ball out giving Canton the point. A nice swing by Northeast Bradford gives Canton or gives Northeast Bradford the ball back. 34 goes back to serve for the Panthers. A short reach by the Canton Warriors gives Northeast Bradford the ball back. A nice block by Hannah of the Canton Warriors. A hit into the net gives 34 the serve back. The score is now 23-16. Yeah. Northeast Bradford serves it slightly out and Canton gets the ball back. Marissa Ostrander goes back to serve. <laughs> Northeast Bradford goes back to serve. Number 36. A nice recover by May Kinner and a nice save by the Northeast Bradfords. A nice volley between the two teams and it's hit slightly out giving Northeast Bradford the point. A nice over by Buscher wins the first set for the Canton Warriors.
A nice swing by Marissa Ostrander. Northeast Bradford fights for the point but is unable to get it. May Kinner is back for the serve. A nice serve by May Kinner. In a nice free ball by the Northeast Bradford Panthers. A short free ball goes right in the middle of the Canton Warriors and Northeast Bradford gets the point. Number eight for the Northeast Bradford Panthers goes back to serve. She will try to serve a second time. A nice pass by May Kinner. Nice recovery by Lexi Gleckner. And Canton gets the point. Allison Butcher goes back for the serve, and Lacey Nimzik subs in for Lexi Gleckner. A perfect serve by Butcher, aces the other team and gets the ball back. Butcher, another perfect serve, aces the team again without one touch on it. A nice pass by number eight of the Northeast Bradford Panthers. A tip tricks up Canton, but they were able to get it back. And a swing that is deep gives Canton the ball back. Butcher will go back for the serve again. A nice set by Lacey Nimzik and a nice swing by Emmy Timison. They get the point back. A nice over by the Northeast Bradford Panthers. Way to recover that one. And Northeast Bradford calls a timeout. The score is six to two, Can. On this break, I'd like to say happy birthday to Heather McNett. Everyone wish her happy birthday on Facebook. Have a good day, Heather.
A serve from 31 from the Northeast Bradford Panthers. A nice up by 31, but they are unable to return the serve to the Warriors. Maddie goes back to serve. And Chelsea Lehman goes in for Emmy Thomason. A nice swing by number six on the Northeast Bradford Panthers. 34 goes back to serve. Nice communication. Chelsea Lehman gets a block. A little mix up with the Northeast Bradford Panthers gives Canton the ball back. As 13 subs in for two on Northeast Bradford. And Marissa Ostrander goes back to serve. A nice serve by Marissa. Aces the other team and gets the ball back. The serve is called out in Northeast Bradford gets the ball back. Number 32 will serve for Northeast Bradford. Canton gets called for a net violation and Northeast Bradford gets the ball back. 32 will be serving again. Canton gets the ball back with a n little Northeast Bradford mix up there. Lacey Nimzik goes back to serve. A nice swing from the Northeast Bradford Panthers earns them the ball back. And number six will go back to serve. Canton earns the ball back as Northeast Bradford free balls it out. Chelsea Lehman goes back to serve. Emmy goes in for Maddie. She serves it out and Northeast Bradford gets the ball back and Maddie goes in for Chelsea. Number 13 on Northeast Bradford will be serving. A perfect pass by Marissa Strander. And number eight hits the ball out, which earns Canton the ball back. May Kenner will go back to serve. little back and forth here. Nice up by number 13, but they cannot return the ball to Canton. <laughs> Amelia goes in for Emmy. May Kinner goes for the serve. Yeah. 
but Canton cannot return the ball to Northeast Bradford, so number eight will be back to serve for the Panthers. She serves it out, and Allison Butcher will go back for the serve. Lacey Nimzik will sub in for Lexi Gleckner after this timeout. For this timeout, we'd like to thank the sponsors, Welch Insurance, Lepley, Engelman, Yawn, Wilk, the Dunn Group, Schoonovers, and the Canton Chatterbox. Shout out to you guys. And we'd like to thank our cameraman, Isaiah Nimzik. Now Lacey will sub in for Lexi Gleckner, and Allison Butcher will serve for the Canton Warriors. The score is 14-8 Canton. Lacey gets the point for the Canton Warriors. Northeast Bradford hits it into the net and Allison Butcher gets the serve back. A nice volley between the two teams here. Comes to an end when Northeast Bradford hits it into the net. The volleyball s flies into the bleachers and Canton gets it back. A nice up by 31 on the Northeast Bradford Panthers. but they cannot quite return it to the Warriors. <laughs> Lacey Nimzik goes under the net and they do not get the point. <laughs> I don't know what she was doing under there, but... <laughs> Northeast Bradford serves it into the net, and Canton gets the ball back. The score is 20-9, to nine, Canton. A nice up by Allison Butcher and is able to recover quickly. Yeah. 
A nice up by number eight on the Northeast Bradford Panthers, but the ball soars out of bounds. Number 36 goes in for number 32 on the Northeast Bradford Panthers. And Maddie goes back to serve for Canton. <laughs> Northeast Bradford gets the ball back. Number 34 goes back to surf for the Panthers. A nice swing by number six on the Panthers. But Canton has a good return and gets the point back. Marissa Ostrander goes back to the serve. It's 22-10, Warriors. She aces the other team and gets the ball back. A nice swing from the Northeast Bradford Panthers. And they earn the ball back. A nice swing by the Canton Warriors. May Kenner with the swing. Lexi Gleckner will go in for Lacey Nimzik to serve. It, the score is 24-11 for Canton, game point. A nice block by number six of the Panthers. A nice swing from Chelsea Lehman, and that's the game.
What is up, Warrior fans? It is Carter Rout here and Ben Knapp, along with Tyler Janone and Derek Aspen-Tanili, to bring you tonight's game, the Can Warriors versus the Northeast Bradford Panthers. And uh, Riley McNett is here to uh, give us our sponsors really quick. Her. We'd like to thank Welch Insurance, <laughs> Lovely, Engelman, Yall, and Wilk, the Don Group, Schoonovers, and the Canton Chatterbox. Thanks, Riley. <laughs> And it looks like Trisha Gilbert will be starting off the game for the Warriors. It's up and over and way out of bounds. And Northeast Bradford will start in the lead. I'll now pass the mic to Benjamin Knapp. Thank you, Carter. Looks like we have number 18 serving for the Northeast Bradford Panthers. Serve is up and passed by the Warriors, who a little bit of an overpass there as number two from the Panthers absolutely launches it into the weak spot of the Warriors' defense. Northeast takes a 2-0 lead, and 18 will serve once again. Giotti sets to Martel, goes back to Hartford with a snipe of a spike there, getting the corner, and the Warriors are on the board. I will now pass it back to Carter Ray Rout. Thanks, Ben. Looks like Kamar Martel will be serving now. It is up and over, and passed out by the libero. Number two will get it over. Jill Shea to Martel, over to Giotti, who gets a nice spike, but it is blocked. They'll get it over the net, though. Northeast Bradford setting up, and it looks like Jelani Hartford will tip it, and it will land on the Warriors' side. So that'll be a point for Northeast Bradford. Score now 3-1. to one. I'll hand it over to the best tight end in the NCL. That's arguable, Carter. Number six serves for the Northeast Bradford Panthers. Martel sets up to Giotti with a nice spike, but it's easily handled by the Panthers. He set up number six. Gilbert sets to Hartford. It goes to Giotti, and a nice spike there, and looks like the libera. The Panthers just could not quite get to that as Covert checks in for Hartford, and I sling this mic back to the best singer in Canton history, Carter Out. That's also arguable, Ben. Jill Shea will be serving now. Northeast Bradford to get it up, two with a spike. It's blocked by Covert. Martel gets it up to Williams, who gets a little floater and gets it over top of number nine for Northeast Bradford. That'll be a point for your Warriors. Jill Shea will be back to serve again. The libero will pass it. They get a second hit, and they will try to floater it over, but Jill Shea's right there. Martel to Giotti with a nice spike. They will field it, though. They'll get it over with a nice push right into the soft spot of the Warriors' defense, and I will now slang this mic over to Benjamin Knapp. Hee <laughs> hee, thanks, Carter. Looks like number four, the Panthers will serve. Shea passes to Martel, who sets up Giotti. And a nice spike off the hands of the front row of the Panthers there, getting the Warriors the point. And I will now be giving this back. Oh, it looks like we have Martin checking for Gilbert. And now I'll give the mic back to Mr. Carter out. Thanks, Ben. Looks like Giotti will be back to serve for the Warriors. And a 
pull it off a serve. They'll get three hits on it and try and floater it over. However, it goes into the net. If we were playing soccer, that would have been a point, but this is volleyball, so that'll be a point for the Warriors. Giotti with another serve. A bullet again. They'll get a third hit on it. Nice little spike. Jill Shea will get it up. Martin to Martell, who tries to get it over the net, but sadly, it does not get over. So I will slang this thing back over to Benjamin Edward Knapp. Looks like number two will serve for the Panthers. Uh, Giotti passes to Williams, who sets up Martin, and it soars about... 50,000 feet out of bounds, giving the Panthers the point, and we're all tied up here. Oh, never mind. The Panthers lead 6-5. to five. Sorry about that. Number two will serve again for the Panthers. Shea passes to Williams, who sets up Martin, and looks like some uh, illegal touches there by the Warriors, giving the Panthers the point yet again. Two will serve again for the Panthers. Serve is up. Shea passes to Williams, who just handles it, and the Warriors can't seem to communicate there as Northeast gets yet another point. Two will serve once again. Oh, and that is way off the hands of Giotti. And the Panthers will score yet again. Two will serve again. Jody sets to Williams, who bumps to Martin, and that goes into the net. As my friend Carter says, if that we were playing soccer, that would be a point. But we're not playing soccer, so that is not a point That's for the Warriors. Funny. Panthers lead 10-5 as number two serves yet again and soars that one out of bounds. And now I can finally give it back to my astonishingly handsome friend, Carter Rao. Thanks, Ben. Looks like Aston Williams will be serving for the Warriors. It looks like it is up and over. Pretty good serve right there. And the second hit goes over, and nobody is there for the Warriors' defense. So I'm just going to give it right back in the give and go to Mr. Knapp. Thanks, Carter. Looks like number nine will be serving for the Panthers here. Serve is up from the lefty. Giotti bumps to Martel, sets up Martin, and just gets over. Oh, and the trickery doesn't work for the Panthers there as Hartford checks in for Shea. And I alley-oop the mic back to the guy with the highest vertical in the school, Carter out. Thanks, Ben. Looks like Grace <laughs> Gracie Covert will be serving, and it does not get up and over. So that'll be a point for Northeast Bradford. Me and Benny playing some hot potato here. Right back to him. That's right, Carter. Number one serves for the Panthers. And the Warriors docked a pass or a serve there that was three feet in. So the Panthers will take the point once again. Questionable there. And... One will serve again. Williams passes to Martell, who sets up Gia or Martin on the outside. Sorry about that. And nice spike by Martin, pulling the Warriors within five. And once again, I will pass the mic. And it looks like Gilbert will come in for Martin. Gilbert will be serving. Northeast Bradford will get two hits on it and a third. Gilbert will get it up. Martel to Giotti. Gets a nice spike. Northeast Bradford fields it. Two with another spike. Shea. Giotti to Gilbert who gets it up and over with a nice bump. They'll set number four who tries to smack it over. Martel setting up Giotti with a nice spike. Northeast Bradford fields it well though. Number two getting it up and over. It looks like it'll be just out. That'll be a point for your Canton Warriors. Gilbert will get another serve.
they'll get a hit on it and a second one number four will get it over Gilbert it gets it up but it hits the net Shea with a nice bump to get it over Martel nice field off the net there Shea gets it up Martel to Giotti who gets a nice spike on it but two fields it very well two will smack it over Gilbert Shea to Giotti will get a nice bump on it to the back row North Beach Bradford getting it back over Williams gets it up Carmaya to Shea who floaters it and somehow North East Bradford gets a playoff Giotti gets a nice spike into the soft spot of the North East Bradford defense and that will be a point for the Warriors bringing the score to 10 to 13 Gilbert will be serving again Number four will skyrocket it in the air. Number two will get it over with a nice spike. Martell setting up Harford, who is a little confused, but gets the bump over. Northeast Bradford getting it over. Martell gets it over. Northeast Bradford setting up number four. Gets a nice spike, but is soars out of bounds. That will be a point for your Warriors. Score 11 to 13. Gilbert gets it up and over. Four gets a nice pass. Two will spike it over, but it goes nowhere close to over the net. So that'll be a point for the Warriors. Score now 12 to 13. Gilbert serving again. Number two will get it up. Setting up number four for a nice little floater. Williams right there to field it though. Setting up Giotti with a nice little floater. Number five, setting up number four. And it will go straight into the net. That'll be another point for the Warriors. And they have tied it back up 13 to 13. Gilbert will serve again. Number four gets it up. Number nine tries to float it over. Williams right there to field it, though. Martell setting up Hartford. Number two will skyrocket it into the rafters, but they'll get three hits on it and get it over. Martell to Giotti with a nice spike, but Northeast Bradford gets it. Number two gets it up over Shea to Martell to Williams, who gets a nice hit on it. Nine to six, floats it over. Williams to Martell, who tries to trick him and flick it over, but does not work. 18 for Northeast Bradford, gets it over, and it is just out. Some good eyes from the libero, Jill Shea right there, to see that that ball is out of bounds. Trisha Gilbert, getting it up and over. Number four, gets it up. Nine, setting her up, and cross court spike but Gilbert gets a hit on it. Shea to Giotti, who gets a nice almost bump kill right there. Number two with a spike, and it is way out of bounds. So that'll be a point for the Warriors. Score 15 to 13. Gilbert with the serve. Four gets a pass to nine. Back to four. Not a very good set right there. Kind of got her off balance, but that'll bring the score to 16 to 13, and they will take a time out. So we will be right back at the end of it. And we are back in Warrior Nation, bringing you this amazing volleyball game right now. Gilbert will get it over. And the first serve after the timeout goes way out of bounds. And I finally get to pass the mic over to the most handsome man in Canton, Benjamin Knapp. You're too nice, Carter. Number 13 serves for the Panthers, and that is about 50,000 feet shorter than that. <laughs> and I no longer get to keep the mic, so I will give it back to Carter Rout. Thanks, Ben. Looks like Martel will be serving now. 
and the libero of Northeast Bradford will give it a little tap right there. Might have been out of bounds. Who am I to say? But Ken will definitely take the point. 18 to 14. Martel getting it up and over. Baker to number nine to number four who gets a nice spike on it. Shea with a nice pass. Martel to Giotti with a nice spike. Number one will get it up to number nine to number two with a nice spike. And I think it was out of bounds. It was. Uh, either way, a very nice spike by number two. Just a little bit out of bounds. Warriors will definitely take the point on that one. 19 to 14. Martel getting ready to serve. And it gets a little bit of the net and goes out of bounds. So that'll bring the score to 19 to 15. And I finally get to pass it over to the fan favorite, Ben Knapp. Yippee. Number six will serve again for the Panthers. So Jody handles it. Martel sets up Hartford with a nice push attempt. Panthers cover. They set up number two with a floater there that seems to find the soft spot on the Warriors defense as nobody was was within about six and a half miles and the Panthers will serve once again. Gilbert passes to Giotti who sets back to Shea. Nice pike attempt but the Panthers quickly handle and number two sends an absolute missile off the hands of the Warriors and the Panthers are knocking at the door, only down two with a score of 19 to 17 in favor of the Warriors. Six serves once again. Shea passes to Martel, who sets up Giotti with a nice spike there, but it's blocked up the line. Set up to six, who bumps back over to the Warriors. Bit of a mishandle there, but the Warriors quickly recover. Two to six, back to two, and uh, just off the hands of the Warriors and off the hands of the Warriors and the Warriors will now take a timeout clinging to their one point lead and my beautiful voice will be back with you shortly. We are back as the Warriors take 1918. Six serves for the Panthers. Shea passes to Gilbert, who passes up to Giotti, who bumps over. Panthers quickly recover, set to number two. And something was a, a bit off there as Culver checks in for Hartford. And the Warriors take the point and cling to their 20 to 18 lead. Looks like we'll have Shea serving for the Warriors here. Oh, almost didn't pass. Thanks, Benny. Oopsie doopsies. Looks like number four will try and tap it over. Shea there to Martel, who gets it over to Covert, who will get a nice bump over. Number one to number six, setting up number two with a nice spike. Shea, for some reason, a little off on the pass there. That's all right, though. A little give and go action for me, Mr. Knapp. Here you go, Benny. Thanks, beautiful. All right. Some, some lingo going on. I don't quite understand there, but the Panthers will serve <laughs> once again. Number four serves for the Panthers. Shea bumps to Martel, who bumps up to Giotti, and she is just dumb nice with it as Martin checks in for Gilbert, and I will now pass it to the elegant Carter out. Love you too, Benny. Looks like Giotti will be serving now. It is up and over, an absolute missile. And the pass goes directly into the net. So guess what, folks? That is a point for the Warriors, 22 to 19. Giotti ready to serve again. 
Another rocket. They'll get two, three hits on it over the net. Martel setting up Williams. Gets a nice spike cross court up into the rafters. Number one will set up number two. Tries to get a little floater action on it. Doesn't work. Uh, Williams back over. Number nine setting up number two with a nice spike. And it will soar. Good two or three feet out of bounds. That is a point for the Warriors. Giotti ready to serve again. Another missile. The net scratcher gets right into the soft spot of the Panthers defense. That'll bring the first set to 24-19. No mathematician, but I think this is match point, folks. Number one will be serving. Gets the pass. Number one will get it up. Number two with a little floater. More like a toss into the Warriors defense in that little soft spot. And I'll now pass the mic over to Mr. Benny Knapp. Thanks. Number two will serve for the Panthers. And my colleague here can't get his foot off the court. That's fine. Number two will serve for the Panthers. Giotti passes to Williams, who sets up Giotti again in the back row. Nice pass by six there as the Panthers quickly recover. And I guess I was a little quick there to quickly recover as no one quite get to that. And the Warriors take set one by a score of 25 to 20. We will be back with you shortly. And deuces.
All right, we're back here in action for set number two as number 18 leads things off for the Panthers. Shea with a bit of a mispass, but Gilbert handles it, and Shea absolutely launches it over the net. <laughs> two bumps to whatever number that is, nine, and two returns. Gilbert bumps to Martel, who bumps up to Shea, and that gets absolutely murked at the net. But Giotti's all over that, quickly passed by the Panthers. Four passes over to Shea, who goes to Martell, to Hartford, and that just doesn't seem to do it for the Panthers as the Warriors take the point. And I football chuck this thing back to Kuda. Just dropped my penny, folks. Carmine Martell with the serve. They'll get a pass over to number sixer. They'll get a nice spike. Martell with the second hit. Jill Shea with an attempted third. Sadly, does not go over the net. And me and Mr. Knapp are going to do a little give and go action here as I pass it right back to him. Thanks, dear. Number six will serve for the Panthers. Giotti passes to Martel, who sets up Giotti once again, and that's a missile, but one passes it nicely as nine sets to six with a push attempt there. Quickly fielded by the Warriors. Williams with the spike, and that sails a bit wide left, giving the Panthers the point and putting them up two to one here early in set two. Six will serve for the Panthers. Gilbert passes to Giotti, who goes to Shea, as six goes to one, and to nine to the Panthers. Martel back to Gilbert, to Giotti. Nice pass there by number one, as number six passes it to number two. Martel bumps up to Shea for the pike attempt. Number one with yet another dig there, as six sets up number two, who gets the kill just barely on the back of the line. That was a sniper shot there. Very close. As a girl in the stands can't quite get the ball there, but she did give it her best effort, and that's all that matters. As number six now serves for the Panthers. And that is about 500 feet to the right as Covert checks in for Hartford. Hartford. And I now give it back to the playing with coins and penny pinching Carter out. Thanks, Ben. Jill Shea with the serve. Number one will get the second hit on it. Number four will try and give it a little floater over. It looks like that was a little bit illegal, though. Just a wee bit. And that'll give the Warriors another point, bringing the score to three to three. Jill Shea I forgot to with the serve. Up and over. Number six, Giotti will get a nice hit on it. Martel to Williams, who gets a nice spike. Number four will get up to number two, who gets a nice hit on it. Shea to Martel. Over to Giotti with a nice spike, a little miscue by number nine. Hit her right in the face, I think. Shea gets it over. Number nine gets it to six. Back to number nine with a nice spike, the old lefty. Martel trying to smack it over, doesn't work. Number six will bump it into next century. That looks like it'll be a point for the Warriors. Looks like Jill Shea is going to be serving again. She'll get it up and over, but it looks like it'll be a wee bit to the left, so I'll swing the mic over. Back to Mr. Knapp. Thanks, baby. It's all tied up here four to four in the second set as number four serves for the Panthers. Shea passes to Martel, who sets up Giotti with a floater there, but nine goes to two. Warriors quickly recover, and that set seems to just slipped a little bit there on Williams. Happens to everyone. Panthers take the point, and four will serve again for the Panthers. Giotti bumps to Martel, who sets up Covert with a nice attempt there, but quickly fielded. Six to number one. Gilbert to Martel to Shea for the pike attempt. And it wasn't just an attempt, it was a, however you words succeed in the present tense, don't quite know. As Martin checks in for Gilbert, and I give it back to the well-built and handsome Carter out. 
Thanks, Ben. Looks like Giotti's gonna be serving right now. She'll get an absolute missile over the other side. Number two will get it up to number six, who tries to bump it over. Unfortunately, that does not work for them, and Giotti will get another serve. Score now being six to five in favor of the Warriors. Giotti will get it up and over. And a decent first pass over to number six. Martel will get it up to Williams, to Martin, and the spike by Martin will go out of bounds. So that'll tie up the score, six to six. I'll pass it over to Mr. Knapp. Say like round nutmeg to me there. Uh, two will serve for the Panthers. Serve is up. Martel passes to Williams, who sets back up to Jotty for the pike attempt. And I don't quite have a read on who scored there. And the Warriors do take the point. And I will quickly pass it back to Mr. Carter out of the Alba, Pennsylvania. Thanks, Ben. Looks like Williams will be serving. And Northeast Bradford will not get a solid three hits on it. And that'll bring the score to 8-6. Hmm. It's funny. Yeah, Aslan Williams will serve. Number two will get a pass on it to number one, who tries to floater it over. Doesn't work. Martel gets a floater over. That also doesn't work. Number 10 over to number nine. Gets a little net scratcher. Martin with a spike. That gets blocked. And Shea will try and get it over, but she's in bad position because of the passes. And that'll bring the score to 8-7. And I'll give it back to the Sperry wearing Benjamin Knapp. They're actually Maui Islands, Carter, but that's okay. Number nine serves for the Panthers, and that's just a bit outside as my mic duty is limited as Hartford checks in for Shea, and I give it to Carter out. Thanks, Ben. Looks like Covert will be serving now. No. Number four tries to get a pass off, but it does not work. That'll be a point for the Warriors, 10 to 7. <laughs> and I'll give it over to Ben Knapp. Route just completely ruined my shoes, that's all right. Martel sets up to Hartford. Ooh, a little bit of a miss set there, but the Warriors quickly handle. Nine sets up to number four, and that's blocked. Warriors quickly recover. Martel pushes over to Baker, who sets to number two. Sorry about that. Martel sets to Martin. Good attempt there. As nine goes to Martha. Jeez, I'm a little bit behind here, folks. The Panthers take the point there. Sorry, I had a little bit of a mishap. Some difficulties over here on our end. A little bit of a disagreement. Well, we're back now, and one will serve for the Panthers. Ten bumps to Martel, who just cannot quite clear the net there. And the Panthers will take the point yet again, tying things up at ten all. Yes. Carter, can you please, can you please put it down? Sorry about that, folks. Looks like Martin's going to serve here for the Warriors. Good serve. Number two bumps to nine, who sets up four. And that spike attempt just doesn't cut it, and it's about 15 feet below where it needed to be. And I now give it back to Koto Root. Thanks, Ben. Looks like Martin on the serve. Number four will get it over for the Panthers. Williams to Martel sets up Gi Gianni, who gets a nice little spike. Number two will spike it over. Martel up to Giotti again, who gets a spike. Number two will pass it up to number nine. Gives it to number four, who tries to floater it over. Giotti's there. Martel to Williams, who gets a nice spike. Two gets it up to number nine, to number six. Martin will get it up to Martel. Sets up Harford. 
for a nice spike. Number six will get it back over, though. Mar or Martin to Martel to Hartford again with another nice spike right into the soft spot of that Panthers defense. That'll be a point for the Warriors. Sorry for that disagreement, folks. Our camera woman won't wear a mask for some reason and keep us safe, so had to talk to her that, about that quick. Rachel Martin will get a serve, though. And a little miscommunication from the Panthers there, and that'll go out of bounds. Point for the Warriors. And Martin's serve will go into the net. That'll bring the score to 14-11. Looks like Gilbert will check in for Martin there as I take back over here. 13 will serve for the Panthers. Serves up. Shea passes to Martell who sets up Hartford with a nice spike. Giving my time on the mic to be very brief as I will now give it back to my boo thing, Carter out. Hugs and kisses, Benny. Looks like Martel will be serving. Up and over. Looks like it was just out of bounds. And me and Benny will give a little give and go action here as I swang it right back to him. Thank you, Carter. Six will serve for the Panthers. Serve is up. Gilbert passes to Hartford. He makes a nice play there as Shea passes it over. 13 bumps up to six, to two, and... She makes a nice play there, giving the Panthers the point and pulling them within two as the Warriors lead 15 to 13 here in the second set. A little bit of an overpass there. Luckily, Shea makes a nice play on that. Martel bumps over to six, who goes to two, and looks like the Warriors are all over that one as Covert checks in for Hartford. And the Warriors take the point after a great volley there by the two teams. Shea serve is up. And it's handled by the Panthers. John bumps back to Shea, who sets another overpass. And looks like number two got into a fist fight with the net there, as that's an illegal hit. And I will now give it back to Quota. Thanks, Ben. Jill Shea will be serving now. Northeast Bradford get one hit on it. Oh, two, but set back by Gracie Covert. She's in my stats class, and she's been talking about how she wants to get blocks all day, every day on this Northeast Bradford team. And we'll be right back, folk, folks, because they took a timeout.
Looks like Carter Route messed up the sound there. I don't know if you guys have been hearing us. The lefty nine serves to the Warriors, and Martin just cannot quite clear the net there as the Warriors cling to their 21 to 19 lead. Seems like things are getting a little rowdy here because of a disagreement on a call that was definitely accurate. Anyways, Williams bumps to Martell, who sets up Covert. Nice push attempt there, but number two is quick lower that. Nine back to two. Jotty sets up to 22. Carmine Martell, who sets to Gleckner, and Gleckner just misses there. And looks like number nine, the lefty, will serve once again for the Panthers. Nine serves, and that does not quite clear the net. Borderline net scratcher, but not quite. And I now give it back to Kota Rhodes. Thanks, Ben. Looks like Gracie Covert will be serving now. And the pass goes into the scoreboard net. And that'll be 23 to 20 as Riley McNett gives me a very dirty look for some odd reason. Gracie Covert. Still. Sorry, folks, we're having some technical difficulties. Gracie Covert will be serving again. The score is now 24 to 20. Number, <laughs> number two gets a second hit on it. She's pretty vocal about that one, Gracie Covert. Over to Lauren Gleckner slash Jelani Harford. She must be one of my Number six <laughs> gets it over. <laughs> Carmine Martell giving it to Lauren Gleckner, who tries to get a little float there, but it doesn't work. Number two, uh, again with the third hit. Carmine Martell over to Lauren Gleckner. And she will find a soft spot in the Northeast Bradford defense. Score now being 25 to 20. And the Warriors will win the second set. Set. Hello, it's the third member of the tripod, Tyler Janon, and I'm going to be here with a special guest, one of our famous offensive linemen, number 57, Derek atherton <sighs> TJ kind of stole the show for me a little bit there, but I just want to give a warm welcome to our next two announcers for the final set. We have number 28, our elite kicker, kicking 60% from extra point and just has the best flow game and just the biggest muscles in Canton, PA, Tyler Janone. And we also have our second on the team in sacks, super big and strong. <laughs> Super, just a gentleman, Derek Afranili. <laughs> so look forward to seeing them for the last set, and we'll be back with you shortly.
Thank you, Ben, for introducing us once again. And uh, welcome back, Warrior fans. We are here with the third set of the Canton Warrior versus the Northeast Bradford Panthers volleyball battle. You're right, Derek. It is a war. Every set of battle. To start off the set, we're going to have Gilbert serving for the Warriors. Serves good. From four to two. Back to four, over to the Warriors. From Shea to Martell to Hartford with a nice spike. But the Panthers can get it back over the net. The old net scratcher. But Canton delivers a nasty spike. And Panthers did the same, and we could not stop it. And Panthers are up 1-0. Number 18 with the serve for Panthers, and it's good from Giotti to Martel. Back to Giotti with the serve, but it's blocked. And Warriors get the point there. Hey, Carter, was that illegal? That's some illegal touching. Uh, referee Carter Edward Rout said it was illegal touching, so that's what we're going to go with. Martel with the serve. Over to the libero, number 13, to number 9, to number 1. Trying for a spike, but could not get it over the net. Went under, actually. We have Martel with the serve. Serve is up, and it's good. Two numbers, 13 to Libero, 2-6. Over to one. Trying to get over with a bump, but could not. Bringing the Warriors lead, 3-1. Martel with the serve again. It's a good one. To the libero. Returned by the Warriors. Spike blocked by number two, and Warriors could not compete. Panthers narrowing the lead three to two. Number six with the serve. Jill Shea passes to Carmaya. Passes to Chiotti with a nice spike. Net scratcher. Caught the Panthers off guard there. Hashtag, we're not ready. Hashtag. Jill Shea with the serve. Libero. Two number six. Two two. With a nice kill. Bringing the score four to three. Warriors. Good serve by the Panthers. Volley back over by the Warriors. And the Panthers with some miscommunication there and cannot get it back over, giving the Warriors another point. Jotty with the serve. It's a good one. What a beam that was. And the Panthers were not ready for that missile. I would not be either. And Jotty with the serve again. Absolutely 95 miles an hour. That thing was steaming. I couldn't see it. I don't think the Panthers could either. Bring the lead 7-3. to three. Jotty with another serve. Panthers get it back over. Shea decides to hit it into the fans. This narrows the Warriors' lead 7-4. to four. Number two with the serve. Good serve from Giotti to Williams. Does it go in between the pole thingies? So the Panthers get the point. Now in the lead once again, seven to five, Warriors. Number two for, for Northeast, up to serve again. Oh, serve hits the top of the net and bounces back on the Panthers' side, so they will not get the point. Oh. 
Williams with the serve. Serve is up. It's good. Volley by nine to six. Back to nine with a nice spike. And the Warriors with a nice play. Get it back over. Panthers with another spike attempt and the Warriors play it very well. -y. Over to Martin with a nice spike. From six to one with a nice spike. And the Warriors are able to block it. Nice play by Culver and it looked to be Martell on the play there. Giving the Warriors a nine to five lead with that one. Williams with the serve. Good serve. Well, uh, the Panthers, I'm sorry, we're not ready for that one. Some miscommunication, maybe. Bringing the lead 10 to 5. Williams with the serve again. Number 9 could not get the pass off right. Some miscommunication, giving the Warriors another point, bringing the score 11 to 5. Williams with another serve attempt. It's over the net. It's a number seven. Trying to go for number one, but she just could not get to it. Strengthening Canton's lead. Williams with the serve again. Number seven to number four. Sets it for number two. It's back over to the Warriors side. From Shea to Martell. Over to Covert. From six, northeast, seven. Over to two with an spike attempt and Jill Shea tries to bump it up but could not get it to one of her teammates another miscommunication everybody's miscommunicating out here this brings the score 12 to 6 Northeast Bradford serve is good from Shea over to the northeast side they are able to get it back over Shea to Martell to Martin with a great serve. Volleyed back. But. It's over, bro. What was it called on that, Carter? I have no idea. Probably a legal touching, like always. Referee Carter out. Coming in with another clutch call. Illegal touching. Covert with the serve. <laughs> over the net, but could not be volleyed by number six. So the Warriors get up 14 to 6. Covert with a serve again. It's up over the net. <laughs> Four. Over to the Warriors side. From Martell to Hartford with a nice spike, followed by number seven to number six. Six who hits it over. Martell to. Martin with a nice spike. Back over to the Panthers side. And the Warriors get the point for, I'm assuming again, which would be another illegal touching. I'm probably wrong, but. Cover with a serve again. I just feel bad now. Panthers are able to get it over from Martell. Hartford to Williams. And the Panthers with a little bit of struggle, but they got it over. Good play by them. 22. To Hartford with a nasty spike. And the Panthers cannot respond. They are up 10, 16 to 6. The home team is winning. Culver with her third serve is good. Number six, number seven, back to six. Over to the Warriors, throw number one, 22, over to 14, Martin. Good spike, Giotti. To Martell, to Hartford, another good spike. And the Panthers try to make an athletic play, and they just could not get it over the net. It do be like that sometimes. Thanks, Afrenelia, it do be. Covert with the serve, good serve. Good volley by the Panthers, back over, back over to the Warriors side. Martell to Hartford, tries to get the spike, but she just can't get it over giving the point to the Panthers. This makes the score 17 to seven. Number one with a serve for the Panthers. It's over and it's good. 
Too Shea, too Martell, too Hartford. Trying to get the bump kill there, but cannot. Bollied by the Panthers. Perfect spot by the Panthers, and they get the point, bringing the score to 17 to 8. They're trying to close that lead down as fast as they can. Number one with the serve again. Oh, and Martin, can Martin cannot get to it. Slips right off her hands, putting the ball not even in the gymnasium. It ran away, folks. <laughs> Number one with her third serve. It's good. Shea, two Giotti, two Williams. Panther, Panthers with some miscommunication there, hitting it towards the net and not to one of her teammates. And that brings the lead 18 to 9. Trisha Gilbert coming in for Rachel Martin for the Warriors. Trisha Gilbert is going to be serving. Good serve. It's over to number two, number seven, number four. To Gilbert, Martel, Annie Giotti with an amazing spike. And the Panthers are able to get it over. Shea, Martel to Hartford with a perfect spot that the Panthers cannot get to in time. Which brings the game 19 to 9. And I'll be back when this timeout is over. It's me, Tyler Janome, back with Derek Afferneely, best lineman in the NTL. I promise that. Trisha Gilbert with the serve. I'm right here. Uh, Carter, you're debatable. Yeah. Trisha Gilbert with the serve. It's good. Number four to number two. Sets up number four. Going for a spike. <clears throat> Trisha to Martel. Over to Giotti. Puts it in the right position, right where the hole in the defense was. And that puts up the lead. 20-9 for the Warriors in the third set of this battle. Gilbert with the serve. Number two with the bump set. Going for the spike. Martell for Hartford with a nice spike. Getting the lead up. 21-9. Gilbert with the serve. It's up over the net to the Panthers. Great play by number six to allow the Panthers to get it over. Martel to Gilbert. Number two to number seven, setting up number six for a spike. Carmaya to Giotti with a spike. Panthers just communicating a little bit off right there, bringing the score 22 to nine. And now, folks. It's time for Derek Afferty Gilbert with the serve. Hit by two to seven. Back to two and way out of there. Gilbert with it again. Four hit it. And that's, never mind. I thought that was game. <laughs> Oh, it's it's close. Right. He's nil. One more. Gilbert. Over the net. A C E and we're out of here. <laughs> We will now conclude our broadcast with Ryland McNett reading off our sponsors.
We'd like to thank Welch Insurance, Lepley, Engelman, Yall and Wilk, the Dunn Group, Schoonovers, and the Canton Chatterbox. Thank you, Riley. Good knock and good night.